This video will show you how to utilize the remote desktop function of the CVX series using the CVX Vision Terminal software. This is a free software download off our visionsystem.com site, so once the software is downloaded, you can install it and use it. No activation required. So as you can see here, this is the Vision software, Vision Terminal software open for the first time. Uh, and it's quite easy to use. To add a connection, you simply click this Add Connection icon in the upper left here, or from the Connections menu, just simply click Add Connection. Either way, we'll add the connection here. So if I click this, it'll bring up the Add Connection wizard. As you, can see, as you can see here. If you're going to use USB connection, which is possible only on the CVX200 series controllers, you simply select USB. Again, this is only on the CVX200 series controllers. If you have a CVX100 series controller, you need to use the Ethernet connection if you want to use the remote desktop function. But if we're using USB here, I have a cable already connected to my controller with USB, standard USB cable. I'll go ahead and select USB button and then click OK. What that'll do is add the USB connection here, as you can see. Now, the red broken line means it's not actually connected. We just simply added the actual connection. To connect to it, we either need to click this Connect All button right here, or from the connections, our Operations menu here, you can click Connect All either way. So from the Operation menu here, or this icon. So if you click Connect, it should get a solid blue line, as you can see here. If you don't have a solid blue line, that, do, that means you don't have a connection. But once we have a solid blue line, we can simply click on this remote desktop icon right here, right click, and click launch remote desktop. And what that will do is launch the live connection to the controller. And now we can start making edits to our program, same as if we were standing in front of it with the mouse and monitor. Um, you, can sim you can change the magnification of the view here if you want to simply maximize it. You can also use the mag magnification here to change the size. So you can freely set the size of the window that you're using. 100% uh, will represent the full screen view here. And again, you simply use, make your changes and edit your program right now. Um, the USB, USB connection is a little bit slower than the Ethernet connection, so it might be a little sluggish, but if you're going to use the Ethernet connection, uh, let me show you where you set the IP address, and I'll just use this current connection to show you this. So under Global, go to Communications and I.O., Network, this will be the IP address settings of the actual CVX controller. As you can see right here, this is the default setting out of the box. So as a default, it is 192.168.0.10. And you can see the subnet mesh settings here. So this is out of the box. If you're going to use this connection or this IP address, you need to make sure your PC is set for a, uh, a similar address. And I'll show you that in a minute here. Um, if you're going to put this on the network, you're going to want to check with your IT guys, your IT department, and make sure you get a valid IP address that you can use for the network, and then you would enter those settings in this screen. So I'm just going to leave the default and uh, click OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, disconnect from the USB and delete this connection. And to delete a connection, all you got to do is right-click, delete connection, and it will uh, clear that connection. So I have an Ethernet cable also connected directly to my controller right now, so I'll show you how to add that. And it's quite easy, same steps. Click the Add Connection wizard here. It'll bring up the menu. And this time, you either uh, can manually add it by simply clicking the IP address icon here, or I button, and entering the address here. You can see it's already set for the default. But uh, if you want to search for the controller to make sure you have a valid connection, or maybe you have a different address, you can click this search function and click the search button. So what the search button will do is it'll seek out and find any valid network connections that you have uh, either on the network or if, in this case, if you're connected one-to-one, -one, so you can see my connection showed up here. If you're on the network and you have multiple connections, you could add multiple connections at once. You would see all the connections here. So simply select the connection that you want to add and click OK. You can see it now added my Ethernet connection here. And what I can do is the same steps again. I can connect all here or under Operation, Connect All. Once I have that blue solid line established, simply right-click on Remote Desktop and then again launch the remote desktop icon here and then again there you, and then at this point you can go ahead and add tools and edit your program again same as if you're standing in front of the controller so it's a live connection to the actual actual controller and uh, it's called the remote desktop function if you want to make sure that you save your connection settings once you've added them in other words your vision terminal settings all you need to go to is this file menu and save or save as. So again, this is the vision terminal settings themselves. Um, if you go under settings here, options, as a default, if you do save the settings, it will it's set up to automatically connect on startup 
And uh, if you're doing any logging, it's automatically going to start logging on startup. But uh, if you, as long as you save your settings, so I'll do file save as, and you just give it a name, put it save it wherever you want. It's a it's a .cxn setting file. Again, this is just the Vision terminal settings, not your program settings. But if you save this, go ahead and save that. And if you close Vision terminal, and then when you go back later and reopen the Vision terminal software, it should pick up right where it left off. So you can see here, I opened it back up, and we're already connected live, and we can go ahead and make changes to our program just like before. So as long as you save your settings, all your connection settings will be saved and it will automatically connect on startup.